Here we see a bunch of oranges. You might ask yourself, how do we most efficiently pack these oranges into a container? And thinking of optimization, how can I best do something? That is, how can I effectively pack these oranges into a container where I can get the most oranges into the container? So we have a certain amount of space and we want to pack the container so that the oranges take up as much as that space as possible. Well, in 1611, Johannes Kepler, you know, the German astronomer who discovered three major laws of planetary motion. Yeah, that guy. Well, he conjectured that if you have equal sized spheres, you can't pack the spheres more efficiently than pi over square root of 17, or about 74% of the volume. If you simply drop the oranges into a box with no care, you'll only achieve about 65% of the volume. But if you carefully create a layer at the bottom in a hexagonal arrangement, and then put the next layer in the indentations created by the bottom layer, and the next layer in the indentations by that layer, and continue this process, you'll be able to achieve the maximum efficiency. Kepler conjectured in his monograph the six-cornered snowflake, that it is impossible to pack identical spheres in three dimensions greater than the packing found in hexagonal cubic packing. Impossible, he says. That sounds like a challenge. I wonder if he's right. Well, until just recently, no one knew. It would take nearly 400 years before the conjecture would be proved. And in 1998, Thomas Hales presented a proof that Kepler was indeed correct. Hales' equation and its 150 variables expressed every conceivable arrangement of 50 spheres. The Annals of Mathematics agreed to publish the proof, provided it was accepted by a panel of 12 referees. And in 2003, the panel reported that they were 99% certain the proof was correct. The verdict of the referees was that the proof seemed to work, but they just did not have the time or energy to verify everything comprehensively. No flaws were ever identified, but it was an unsatisfactory situation that the proof was seemingly beyond the ability of the mathematics community to check thoroughly. Hales estimated that to produce a complete formal proof would take around 20 years of work. 20 years. You better get packing. Well, I guess he did, because Hales and a team of collaborators wrote out the entire proof using strict formal logic. This was then fed to a computer program that checked with perfect rigor. And in 2017, the formal proof was published, and the efficiency of packing that Kepler conjectured in 1611 was confirmed. My name is Bradley Moore. And this was a presentation of the Kepler Conjecture for the History of Mathematics, Mayville State University. Thanks for watching.